Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got, I got kind of like a little special video and stuff. This video was honestly, it was uh, an idea I got from really someone else. From shout out to Matt, uh, someone who apparently just started watching one of my videos and stuff. They they, had, they left a comment on one of my videos, which kind of made me think about something like that. It made me think about something and stuff about how like pretty much my explanation in the video explained to them how to like parent things and stuff. So I'm pretty much I was like, let me make a video on how to parent like how parenting works in roblox and stuff like with scripting and stuff because i know it's kind of a little confusing and stuff so yeah i mean it's pretty simple but it might be confusing at first so this is pretty much an explanation video so yeah okay so parenting is mainly used when it comes to like is, is really used a lot in gui and stuff for example so gui it can be a little confusing okay so let me explain the like the basis of parenting first okay so start this is start gui right now, Stardew UI is, like, parented to the game itself, right? It's parent, like, as you can see, no cap headquarters, which is the game itself, right? If you click on anything, like, literally anything in the Explorer tab, you, it will tell you it's, like, whatever whatever its parent is. If I were to insert a, every, okay, sorry. If I insert a screen GUI into Stardew UI, its parent will be start, will be the Stardew UI, right? Now, if I insert a frame into the screen GUI, the frames parent will be the screen GUI. Then if I insert a text label into the frame, the text label's parent will then become the frame. Now, if I then were to move this text label under the screen GUI, the text label's parent would then become the screen GUI rather than the frame, right? It's pretty simple to understand, not really complicated. Now here's where it kind of gets a little confusing when it comes to like scripting. So you guys have seen me like, before videos and stuff, y'all will see me like have a script. Obviously, don't use an actual sort of script on a in Star UI, but I'm just it doesn't really matter right now. If you guys ever see me do like script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent, it may it might like look really confusing stuff because you don't really know what you're talking about. When you like when you start scripting and stuff, you'll really start to like kind of like you kind of like just know it in your head. Let me explain to y'all what, what I'm saying. So you guys can see how all this stuff is parented, right? Like if I parent this. You would think you would just do script dot parent, script dot parent, dot parent, right? But no. If you're trying to get the player's GUI, right? Like, let me let me show you guys how to get the player, right? So say you're trying to get the player from like a script that's inside of like let's we'll say a text label, right? It's different. Now this is how it looks like in starter GUI, but here's how it looks for the player though. You have to go through to the player, and there is no starter GUI in the player. It's player GUI, right? So you have to go through the player GUI. Then a lot of these are like three of them are like default Roblox ones. But yeah, you'd have to then go find your GUI. Then like pretty much the text label is parented to the frame. The frame is parented to the screen GUI, and the screen GUI is parented to the player's GUI rather than um starter GUI. And then of course player GUI is parented to like your player. Of course, and that's pretty much how parenting works. It's pretty simple. It's really pretty simple to understand and stuff. Like I said, like if you literally click on something and then you just scroll down, uh, somewhere it should say, uh, yeah, right there. It'll say like the parent, like whatever its parent is, and of course you can change the parent and stuff like that. Well, depending on here, like if where, where's the parent? Where is the parent? They have a changed here. A ten percent parent started was on secular. Oh, I guess you can. Oh, I thought it would automatically like remove it or something. I mean, remove it. I guess it doesn't do that. But anyway. So, yeah, you guys can always just go look at the Explorer tab and see. But, yeah, I just want to let you guys know, and I hope, I hope this video was helpful. And, yeah, if, if it was helpful, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching.